to another installment of my favorite riffs that was sunday bloody sunday by u2 um really cool riff in my opinion and, and a really good song and um i don't know if that song comes on the radio every time i hear that or you know it's just like leave it on you know it's just such a cool riff but um i'm gonna break it down it's fairly simple um and let me just bring a little closer so you can see what i'm doing here okay so it starts off with a b minor triad and what that looks like it's a real simple shape. You got your first finger at the second fret of the first string, second finger at the third fret of the second string, and the third finger at the fourth fret of the third string. So you get this little diagonal shape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick three, two, one, two, and those are your strings. And uh, um, just a little tip I learned is when, with picking, um, for accuracy, I like to, um, as I'm going low to high strings like this, I'll pick downward. And then as I come up, I pick upward, so an upstroke. It just, to me, it leaves you less room for error. Um, instead of, you could pick all down or, but I think it's best to go down, 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 and then come up. And that goes with a lot of picking patterns. I would recommend that. Like, if you're going uh, low to high, pick downward. And if you're coming back up, Pick upward. Not a rule, just a suggestion, so. So you got that, you're picking three, two, one, two as your strings. Then, um, originally I played my, it goes to a D chord. I originally played it just like a regular D chord fingering, right? But now, as I think about it, it's smoother in my opinion to go from, okay, to leaving your second finger where it is, okay, lifting everything up, else up. And by the way, your second finger will remain there for the entire riff. You don't have to move it. But just take your first finger and bar it <clears throat> across the first three strings. It makes a D chord as well. Um, kind of with an A in the bass, which is cool. So you get same picking pattern. Um, third, second, first, second. So you get second finger where it is and lift everything else up and do the same picking pattern um, but you'll do this two times and let me show you the difference in timing you start off the same second time you're gonna go so you get this so it's gonna be the same picking pattern throughout it's pretty simple I guess the trickiest part is that little bar thing, but if you really don't like doing it, try doing the regular D-shaped chord, but to me, it's not as smooth going to that. So, um, putting it all together, I'll play it slow and then normal, so you got... Okay, and that repeats throughout a good bit of the song. So, it's just fun to play along with it, bring it up to speed. type of thing and just repeat and um yeah so I was thinking of different riffs to show and I thought I don't know why this one came into my mind it's kind of different um and I'll be doing different types of riffs of different styles of music so uh I hope you enjoy this one and um maybe leave some requests for stuff you would want to learn simple riffs have a good one everybody <laughs> 